Tom Hiddleston has just suggested that he may be done playing Loki. Of course, Loki season two just ended, and I, I thought it was miles better than Loki season one. I really enjoyed Loki season two. I had a few nitpick issues with the actual ending of it here and there, but overall, I loved the season. I thought it was really great. But it brought up a lot of questions. Are they going to do a Loki season three? Now, some of you guys might remember that the showrunner, well, he isn't the showrunner because they haven't had showrunners up till now, but the guy writing, Loki said, look, we approached Loki as two chapters, All right? Chapter one was season one and chapter two was being the closing chapter of it with season two. And that's it. And he said, we never thought of it anywhere beyond there. Well, Tom Hiddleston was on Jimmy Fallon the other night and was straight up asked, like, are you going to play Loki again? And, uh, well, this report comes to us from Forbes. That's what he said. Tom Hiddleston said, it's the conclusion to season two. It's also the conclusion to six films and 12 episodes and 14 years of my life. Hiddleston said, noting that he was 29 when he was first cast as Loki and is now 42. It's been an entire third of his life, and it is not exactly stunning that he would eventually be moving on, even as the MCU will continue around him. Now, while I am not here to call Tom Hiddleston a liar, I will call him a liar. Are his no. pants on fire? <laughs> I, let me rephrase. Um... I think probably he's telling the truth to a degree. I think he's telling the truth in the sense that they probably did look at Loki season two as being the end for Loki. I mean, ultimately, when you get to the last scene of Loki season two, where else is there for him to go? Actually, he can't leave. He can't get out of that chair. I don't know how he handles bathroom breaks, whatever, but he can't get out of that chair. Absorbs it, puts it into the timeline. That's right. He drops it just in random timeline. There's a variant for you. Anyway. So I, I get all that. And maybe he actually believes it when he says, I'm now, that's the conclusion for me playing Loki. It's the conclusion to 12 episodes, 14 years of my life. That's the conclusion. I, I think maybe even to a degree he believes it. But I also think when George Lucas said Indiana Jones and The Last Crusade was going to be the last Indiana Jones film ever, I think he believed it at the time. And of course, eventually we got Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Uh, I, I believed it when Jay-Z Jay -Z said, I'm done making albums. And of course, we got another one. I believed it when, was it not, well, yeah, was it Soderbergh? Who said, yeah. I'm retired from making movies. Well, that was seven movies ago. You know, I, I think he believes it. But remember a while ago, Rob, we were quoting one of the big executives over at Marvel saying, our game plan is always to have Thor and Loki reunite. And I think that is probably, it looks like I'm Loki here. Look at, there, he <laughs> there you go. There we go. Okay. <laughs> um, and, and I think they probably do. And I think even if Tom Hiddleston thinks he's done, it's going to be like the Godfather three. Every time I say him out, they pull me back in. I think we will see, listen, I believe him, but I really do think we're going to see Tom Hiddleston as Loki again. But listen, he's not wrong. He's put in 14 years. He's done movies and now several seasons of TV. He's given us maybe the most iconic um, Comic-Con appearance ever when he came out on stage in, in full garb saying, I'm Loki of Asgard and I'm burdened with glorious purpose. One of the greatest moments ever in the history of Comic-Con. There it is right there. He's done his duty. He's paid his duty. He's, he has delivered. Because I think whatever you think of the MCU, I think we all agree. Tom Hiddleston as Loki is one of the shining points of the MCU. What, what, even if you're an MCU hater, I think most people will agree with that. So if he is done, maybe he deserves it. Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of this video, Quip. Guys, you know that good health starts with good habits, and Quip makes it easy by delivering all the oral care essentials that you need to care for your mouth. For example, their incredible electric toothbrush. Guys, I've been using electric toothbrushes for years, and this is easily the best one I've ever owned. Time sonic vibrations with 30-second pulses to guide a dentist-recommended two-minute clean. A lightweight and sleek design for adults and kids with no wires or bulky charger to weigh you down. Reusable handles in a range of sleek metal hues, as well as bright plastic colors sure to make a pop on your bathroom counter. Skip the battery 
boundaries and snap into healthy habits with the new rechargeable electric toothbrush. All the features of the original Quip plus one magnetic charge powers up to three months of brushing. In addition to brush heads, Quip also delivers fresh floss, toothpaste, mouthwash, and gum refills every three months from just $7. So if you go to getquip.com slash campia right now, you'll get 20% off any electric toothbrush, mint and gum dispenser, or water flosser. That's your 20% off any electric toothbrush, mint and gum dispenser, water flosser at getquip.com slash campia. That's G-E-T-Q-U-I-P dot com slash campia. Quip, the good habits company. I don't know, Rob, what did you think of his comments? And do you think we've actually seen the last of Loki of son of Laufey, adopted son of Odin? What do you think? I, uh, I did watch that. I did watch that clip and I was surprised by it. I didn't know that he was going to say that in the clip when I watched it. Neither did Kevin Feige. Um, <laughs> Uh, I, I, no, you know what, it, but it's, it's to be expected. I mean, he's a secondary player and the Loki he's playing isn't even the real Loki is a different Loki from the timeline. No, no, it's the same Loki just picked up from one point in time. Sure, it's but he didn't go through guy. the evolution of what he had to go through. And, he didn't and, experience you know, Ragnarok. Yeah, he didn't experience Ragnarok. So, so, and, and, and his mom and all that. But, but, but I do think that I, I, I kind of, I really liked, you know, you and I were talking about this before the show started, I really like where they left it with him. Like in the comics, in a way, Loki has become the god of stories, the god of the multiverse. And look, if they're going to do Kang Dynasty and Secret Wars or whatever the hell they're going to do, because God knows what they're going to do and make it work, we're going to see Loki again in some way, shape, or form. There's no way they can lean more into this multiverse saga and not show us Loki, who's now control of the multiverse. But like you said, I think he believes that. I don't think anyone's called him. I don't think they've decided they want him yet, but I could see it happening. So I'll point out Robert Downey Jr. also said he was done playing Iron Man. We know he's going to be back. They'll all, they'll all be back at some point, or maybe they won't. Hey, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called The John Campy Show Podcast, available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.